Wow, whole family is cooking together. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, now I will let banana blow some. Like my honest opinion, smells a little bit like uh, some sort of medicine or some herbs. Eat. It's very soft when I break it with fork. It's uh, very soft and tender. So we will try now. Mm. Hi guys. Good morning. So I'm greeting you here today from from Cebu Island, Philippines, and today is another cooking video from our house. So today my husband and I will cook something for our dinner and then um, this dish is a signature dish of Isaias. It's very popular here in Cebu. Also uh, this dish is um, easy to make I think but I'm not sure. It's like easy recipe but it's taking time to um, cook because the meat should be tender in order to achieve that effect of like um, a soothing and um, uh, warm meal. So uh, the length of the cooking of the dish is mostly because of uh, tenderizing the meat and then um, I will show you now that three uh, unusual ingredients like for me it's very unusual but in the end they're making up very nice flavor together so uh, there is three ingredients which are specially only used uh, in this dish so uh, maybe you already guess what the, the dish is by the title of my video so I will check uh, I will show you now the ingredients and then uh, Daryl my husband is now already chopping up the pork for the dish so this is uh, the pork uh, cuts, that's exactly the pork cuts that will be used for uh, the dish and then, it, this, this should be like this one, no? It's Actually okay. the tradition is a little bigger, but bigger. Yeah, we just, I just did it so that it will cook mm -hmm. faster. No, it's so the, the skin and the fat part we are not uh, removing, right? We yeah. are just uh, preserving and the, this meat it will be soft because of the um, how the way we will cook, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the name of the dish is called um, Humba Bisaya yeah. and then we will, f uh, we will follow the original recipe, right? Yeah. And so what we will do first? So first we will boil the pork. Yeah, so we're gonna boil the pork so that it will soften. Mm -hmm. So how uh, many, like one to two hours? Uh, actually, Maybe two hours? No, in, um, in Humba, mm -hmm. they say the more time you boil it, the better. Mm -hmm. So, perhaps the most um, correct, I mean, the minimum time is perhaps yeah, an hour or two, mm -hmm. so that it's really soft. Yes. Otherwise, it will be hard. And then, when it will be done boiling, so we will add these uh, ingredients, right? So, uh, the first unusual ingredients for Humba Bisaya is this, uh, we will use pineapple juice, but as I know that some, so as I know that uh, usually also even uh, Filipino families are cooking it at home, the Humba, that uh, they're using the Sprite, right? Is it true? Yeah. Sprite, uh, what do you call it? Any lemon lime lemon drink. like lemon carbo carbon carbonated carbo yeah uh, any lemon lime soda mm -hmm. drink soda yes yeah. so they're using like sprite or how what else I forgot sprite, the names seven or up a seven dew. up mountain dew for the cooking the humba pork humba so it's really unusual to me but you know in the end you don't feel that flavor of like sprite or something you just feel a uh, lemonish sweet like after this and I also think that it's uh, making softer not the um, the the meat. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, we didn't buy Sprite now, so we will use the um, pineapple juice. And then the other unusual ingredient for me is this. It's the called... Banana blossom. Azu... Azu... Azucena? Az Azucena. I don't know if it's correct. And then, yeah, so this is... I will insert a picture. Uh, what is this? This is banana blossom, the flower of banana tree or fruit. Yeah. And then uh, I will insert a picture here who, who is not uh, watching, who is not from the Philippines. So this um, banana blossom actually uh, uh, common ingredients for some dishes in Southeast Asia. I also saw in the other cultures they're using it. And for the humba they also use this. So either you can use fresh. Can you use fresh like from banana blossom or it's usually this one? Um, yeah, you can use fresh, but of course it's hard, so... Ah, so it's hard to peel and to take the certain part, right? It's time-taking. Ah, ta so time-taking? So our son is very excited. And then, so usually they're selling already like this. It's like pre-made, pre-peeled in the supermarket, but it's sometimes hard to find, right, this one? 
Kinda, but usually it's very common nowadays. Yeah. So, so this one, it's red in the end, and the beans, but it's like a salted beans. It's also um, only these beans are using in the humba bisaya. So it's the black. Uh, what's it beans even? Black salted, salted black beans. beans. So this one. Okay, let's see how it will go. So the first step we will um. Oui. Love, what is that number? It's 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 normal like this, the uh, one. Yeah, very normal. So the first step will a little bit fry, um, give us quick fry to our pork cuts. But uh, we are not putting oil because the fat is natural oil for this uh, kind of frying. So we will just little bit fry, uh, golden fry the pork, and then we will add already water and boil it until it will be tender. Mm. So now we are preparing our garlic onion to add to the um, uh, pork, which is a uh, little bit uh, frying now to make the golden brown golden brown sides and then after we will use the other ingredients love what's the difference between um so humba is like um, a traditional uh Visayan dish right love Kinda, yeah. traditional right so it's like i read before so humba it's like um originated from Visayas region yes yeah and there is like different cafes here in uh, cebu also right dedicated only humba mm -hmm. that's why it's called humba bisaya yeah. Uh, and then what's the difference between adobo and chumba? Uh, adobo means, uh, what do you call it? Huh? Adobo is, uh, main ingredient is uh, soy sauce. Mm. But chumba is, what do you call this one? Natural uh, juices, right? Of the pork, then pineapple juice. Yeah, it's like sweet. Um, yeah, it's kind of sweet, sweet. tender. Yeah, yeah, so in adobo it's a very, it's salty, right? Mm. The flavor is salty, but also, it's the brown pork dish, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a mistake in those who so don't know. But uh, so adobo is a salty, more than salty side, and the humba is mm, sweet. Yeah. Also, it's the beans, the banana blossom, like all of that. It's yes, it's different. But it's just the first the flavor, first the taste, the difference where it's a sweetness. And so now our pork is um, stir frying, and then we will add some onion, garlic, and then. A little bit of uh, soy sauce and then a drop of vinegar just a little bit then after that we will already add our pineapple juice uh, water and let it boil until soft tender so here goes our onion and garlic mm -hmm. yes Mikhail, you want to tell something you're mixing no, you know you cannot have dangerous yes that is mixing hmm? Wow, whole family is cooking together. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Say bye bye. No, hi, guys. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, so the pork now is looking like that. So it's getting brown. So nice golden brown color. And then, so we didn't add any oil, just natural, uh, natural oiliness, so looking like that. Now we will add the um, sweet uh, drink, so in our case, pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. So we will add a little. Actually, it's like um, up to you how many you want to put. We will put it uh, around a um, cup, a cup and a half maybe. So yeah, like that. Then we will wait until it's boiling. <coughs> Maybe I will add some pepper. And that's it, we will uh, make the meat tender. Wait until, not me. Wait until the meat is tender. Alright, and then now while waiting for our pork uh, to boil, I will take a coffee break and eat my favorite uh, snack, my favorite Filipino snack. I just asked my husband to go. Uh, our neighbors is selling it and almost every day, I'm so guilty because almost every day I'm asking to buy that specific snack. It's like my favorite, I already need to stop eating it so often, so sweet. So, I will show you this one. It's my favorite Filipino snack, banana cube. So yeah, I will make uh, coffee now and eat this one.
Alright, so I will have a bite now. Mm. So good. Yum yum. Um, now I will add banana blossoms and then do the storm. Uh, while the kumba almost cooked, in the end we will add a hard boiled egg so they will absorb the sauce and the juice and it's very delicious. Also I want to uh, share the tip about uh, the boiling egg. So, uh, I saw it a few years ago in some cooking show and then I, I'm always cooking um, boiling the eggs only this uh, method now so water is already boiling so we will submerge our eggs in the water and then we need to put timer on exactly 10 minutes exactly 10 minutes um, the egg will boil and then after 10 minutes not 11 not 12 but 10 minutes we will switch it off and then the egg is so good it's like uh, already boiled but uh, still a uh, soft texture the yolk and then it's not that smelly like hard boiled egg smell right after smell and then uh, that uh, gray uh, round which is usually in the um, sometimes we in the hard boiled egg there is like gray uh, coloring it's not so it's all yellow perfect boiled egg so yes um 10 minutes just try it it's really nice but in the already boiling what so the water is boiling we're only submerging the eggs and then exactly 10 minutes and it's really yummy eggs all right so what can i say does it smell good yes it smells amazing so i can't wait to try Right. All right, so this is my plate and this is our very beautiful looking Humba Bisaya and eggs and white rice. So I will give it a try now. All right, so I'm very excited because first I'm very hungry and it's looking, it smells so delicious, so yummy that I think that the beans and the uh, banana blossoms are really essential part of the um, uh, cooking of uh, humba because it's making that um, specific smell which only banana blossom has so honestly like my honest opinion smells a little bit like uh, some sort of medicine or some herbs but in the all uh, the flavor combination it's really um, smells good smell combination so I will try now here is our meat. It's very soft when I break it with fork. It's uh, very soft and tender. So we will try now. Mm. Mm. It is very delicious, you guys. You should try it. Try to cook at home. Who is living in the Philippines? I'm sure Filipinos who is watching they are cooking at home. It's really a very delicious dish. It's so yummy. It's very, 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 very good. I think it's one of my favorite now. Mm. Yum, yum. Now we will wish you a good day. Good um, time of the day. Where are you watching from? And what do you want to tell me, Kai? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>